Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial and in this one I'm going to focus on the gorilla and because I had a hard time drawing this one I uh, was drawing a skull, a human skull and was comparing the, this to uh, the skull of the gorilla and there are extreme differences like uh, the absence of the forehead and the big uh, frow those bones uh, above the eyes and uh, I'm going to make a study on grey paper with white and black color pencil but the setup I will be doing with charcoal and uh, using the charcoal is especially um, nice when you are not um, quite sure yet like I am here uh, I've never drawn a gorilla before so I've chosen the softest uh, medium that there is and that's charcoal and uh, this is a charcoal pencil and I can rub this around as much as I want and I can erase it and um, so I'm placing in an underlayment for the drawing that I will be doing for you and with you I hope of course and uh, here I'm uh, using uh, my knowledge of the skull that I've been drawing and um, well the, the snout itself the, the, the beak I don't know um, uh, let's say the mouth itself is really uh, up forward while the nose is really flat and uh, there's uh, quite a big chin actually and the lips are tight in this one and here I'm positioning the eyes and I'm keeping them quite big for the setup you can always go smaller so uh, start out big and then uh, draw in the eyes just the position of them and well what is uh, mainly important I think that is that that big frow uh, those bones above the eyes that is so typical for the silverback gorilla and he has a lot of um, wrinkles in his uh, skin and he has this big mane that is coming from his neck down and because this is the male one I'm focusing on um, uh, the way that the hair grows so I'm uh, drawing in the direction of the growth of the hairs which instantly means that I will get um, an organic effect and the ear itself is quite like a human it's more flappy it's flatter and it's kind of a question mark in fact and uh, there are a lot of wrinkles around the eyes so I really want to draw those in already with the charcoal and there are also wrinkles on the side of the nose a lot of them and maybe you've seen them growling now and then then you can really see how much um, uh, flexion there is in that skin around the nose and the eyes so you really want to draw that in Here for the main, I'm also drawing in the direction of the hairs and I'm simply putting an underlayment with all that charcoal that I can stir around later and the beak itself is quite dark so I also draw that in and I'm, as you can see I'm sparing out just a little stripe uh, just above the the opening of the mouth 
and yeah, put in a little extra darkness around the ear so that uh, the ear really pops out. Well, okay. So here's my setup. And what I will be doing next is to blend in the powder of those of the charcoal into the paper. And here I'm sparing out the parts that I want to keep light. So I simply rub it in rather precisely with the blender stick. And then I rub it all in. So now my hand is black, but I don't mind. And as you can see here, this is my pencil eraser. And maybe you want to stir around a little bit in it more. I do not have to so much. And then I simply pick up my white color pencil. And as I was saying, because I'm using a gray, a light gray paper, I can excellently draw in with the white. And what I do here is uh, simply focusing on the hairs that, that are white, but also uh, the light that is hitting our model, the gorilla. And you can see how easily you can draw over uh, the remains of the charcoal and because I uh, wiped it out with the blender stick and with my hand I can easily uh, draw draw over it with the white color pencil without it getting grayish so that is why I uh, rubbed the charcoal out Also, uh, with the white pencil, I keep following the direction of the hairs. Now, once you've drawn in most of uh, the white, you switch over to the black color pencil. And with that black color pencil, you can draw in all kinds of nice detail. Now this kind of detail you would not be able to draw in with the charcoal because um, well it's too soft so you cannot put in a little pupil or um, a tiny line you can do it but it will not be as black and as sharp as your color pencil will be Here you can see me drawing in the dark uh, shadow uh, in uh, the edge of the face, but I'm also using it for all the, those wrinkles around the, the eyes. Also the inside of the ear, the earlobe, and the shadow around the ear so that the ear really pops out and what is also very nice about this technique is that you can really get that furry look and it's, it's sturdy hair it is uh, thick hair and, and this technique really uh, makes that hair pop out I want the eyes to be really uh, deep inside of the head so draw in a lot of shadow around the eyes and a little bit, bit on the back but I will not draw in there a lot the focus uh, I want to be on uh, the face itself and it's kind of a sad gorilla he looks a bit sad and a bit well, into the distance if you want. 
and here I've uh, shifted back to the white color pencil making sure that where the sun hits my gorilla that, that hair really pops out and what I also always do is get rid of dark lines on the edges because that really flattens your drawing so uh, keep away from dark lines around your model do not do that okay well I've smudged my uh, drawing paper so I will put in a little bit of background you can draw in any background you want of course and uh, I simply use a little bit of pastel for the background but I will not be working this drawing out I will leave that up to you but I really enjoyed studying this gorilla it's very hard to do but I do hope you will uh, join me and draw along and try this one out he is worth it well I hope you enjoyed this please give it a like and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again in my next tutorial <laughs>